Naperville Central travels to Neuqua Valley for a DVC boys tennis matchup. The Red Hawks are coming off a win against Wabanzi, where they won 4-3. The Wildcats also enter the day off a win as they beat Naperville North 5-2 to begin conference play. We start the day with a two doubles matchup. Neuqua Valley's Adi Bonzel and Rudy Shen face off against Naperville Central's Jason Zhu and Zach Highhouse. The Wildcats get on the board as Bonzel uses the front net presence to hit one home. Later on, Zhu rockets one to the back corner, which allows High House to use the entire court on the next hit. He taps it home and the Red Hawks are on the board. High House puts in a tough serve, but Bonzel is able to get it over. The Wildcats head to the net and Shen quickly knocks it down for a point. Niqua takes set one, 6-3. The Wildcats look to close out the second set, and once again, they show off the touch in front of the net. They win the match after taking the second set 6-3. Naperville Central's Rohan Jha and Peter Paik take on Niqua Valley's Johnny Moe and Ricky Kim in one doubles. Jha gets the serve over, and he then stripes one back into the corner. Paik takes advantage of the open space in the middle and gets the point. Mo is serving and it's a good one as he forces his opponent into the nets for an ace. Later on, it's Kim's turn to show off the serve. He gets the points and helps secure a 6-1 win in set one. The second set needs a tiebreaker and both teams are fighting for this point. After some volleys, the Wildcat duo secures the match. They win the second set 7-5 and Niqua Valley sweeps all four doubles matchups. Naperville Central looks the breakthrough in the singles portion. Jason Chang takes on Wildcat Sara Kandari in the number three spot. After some spin on the return, the Red Hawk hits the next one high and gets his opponent to miss short. Chang serves and on the next play plays it short. Kandari gets to the front to play it. After a couple of quick volleys, the Wildcat forces an overhit. This match takes all three sets and the final one goes the distance. Chang's forehands nearly paints the back line, forcing his opponent's shot into the net. He takes the all decisive third set 10-5 and the Red Hawks are on the board. In number two singles, Wildcat Evan Yang takes on Red Hawk Emil Nihan. After some volleys, Nihan sends one down the left side, but Yang recovers. The next time around, Nihon capitalizes on the high arcing shot and just taps it down for a point. Yang, however, looks strong in this match. He somehow gets to this and his ball just sneaks over the net. The Wildcat is looking to close it out in straight sets and he gets the serve over. His next shot is powered into the corner and he wins in two sets, 6-2, 6-2. Let's close the day with the number one singles match between Naperville Central's Charlie Morgan and Neuqua Valley's Andy Yu. After the serve, Yu and Morgan send it back and forth. Morgan forces a tough shot out of Yu, but the Wildcat sends the favor back and forces the overhit. Morgan, who's back at Central after being in Florida for the past two years, sends it in on the jump serve. His shot power is a lot to handle. The Red Hawk heads towards the net and watches his opponent overhit one for an NCHS point. Morgan takes the win with ease in the number one singles, 6-0-6-1. Nikwa Valley, however, earns the team victory by a score of 5-2, and they start the DVC season with a 2-0 record. This year is very unique because a lot of our players um, were playing new spots. Um, I don't think anyone's retaining their old spot from the previous year. With beginning our season, we've been practicing a lot and I think especially for this year, we had a pretty long period of time where we were just practicing, didn't have much matches, which allowed me and Johnny to work a lot on our game and how we just learned to play with each other. I think we just had a better teamwork than them today and also Johnny with his ground strokes I think he did pretty good. Ricky with his volleys 
insane. Definitely I thought my forehand today and then I definitely served better than I did um, in the match against Wabonzi. I felt like it was a little less windy out, but it was especially um, difficult to get used to the situation today because it looked like it was going to rain the whole day. So, and I didn't think I was going to play. So we did pretty well, especially with our attitude as a team, but we definitely have a lot to work on as far as dealing with nerves and these pressure situations. But I thought it was a good effort overall.